Alright, so let's say you stop playing League of Legends for a few months, or actually any game, and you want to start playing again, but you feel completely lost and you don't know what to do. Here are three tips if you want to get back in a game that you stop playing for a while. Hello everyone, my name is Zonabra, and today I'm going to introduce you to some tips if you guys stop playing League of Legends. In my case, I stopped for over six months. I haven't played a game, and I've recently come back to it doing more content on YouTube and on Twitch. And I'm very excited to give you some tips to give you so that when you get back into it, you're not completely lost and you have good mindset going forward. The first tip I want to tell you is you guys should play Champions of Comfort. So you guys know that you develop some muscle memories, you know how a mechanic works for some champions that you've been playing for a lot of time, assuming that you play a lot before stopping for a while. You must have some champions that you already know how it works, what are the good combos, what are the good items, what are the good runes and masteries, like you already have a general knowledge of those champions. Those champions should be the ones you aim for at first, because they will allow you to get back on track and just get back to like your like muscle memory and like how everything works all the last settings all those like everyday mechanics that you're gonna refound you're gonna is you just gonna ease into it with some comfort of a champions that already know if you go and you buy the new champion that came out when you went on there and you start playing it you're just gonna feel totally lost and i do not recommend that at all the second tip is double check itemization runes and masteries you don't know how many patch you missed and maybe there's been uh, updates about some items there's surely been updates on some items and maybe they change the system of runes and masteries you don't know that if you're still in scale with the meta don't forget that league of legend is a game that is meant to change a lot within time and it's not it's not a surprise if runes and masteries and items have changed in a matter of months or weeks make sure you check up itemization maybe you can go to like some pro builds or you can check the profile of some pro gamers that you inspire if you play adc go check what double lift is doing what he's playing what he's building what are his first items etc etc for runes and masteries i do the same thing basically i go to profiles of pro gamers that play in this role so like let's say for mid lane i usually check beer six runes and masteries i try to see what he plays with what champion and i just sync it to my runes i'll make sure that everything is coordinated and if anything change i just change it because it's how it works and usually pro gamers like to optimize every single rune so please do the same take a moment before the game just to make sure that you're on track runes masteries itemization you have everything in your head so that you can ease into getting back into the game and the third one guys is very simple but it's not the least uh the third one is also very simple is just be aware of the meta that could contradict my first point which is play champions of comfort because maybe the meta isn't synced with your champions of comfort but it's always nice to know what's going on in league do you have a tank meta do you have an assassin meta do you have a mage meta do you have an adc meta how are things working right now who are played in a jungle how does it work do people gank early do people do dragons early like you have to know how things work so that you can be aware of what's going to happen and you're not completely lost if you start seeing assassins in the mid lane maybe you should think of picking something like zed talon airy fizz stuff like this if you see that it's a tanky meta maybe you want to pick something else and react accordingly please be aware of the meta the meta is what changed the most in league of legends it changed two to three times every season and it's very important to be aware of what's happening because the meta is really what's going to get you from the elo you've been demoted to to whatever elo your goal is so that's very important guys those three tips are very to help you ease into getting back into the game i've stopped for six months and honestly i kind of felt a little bit lost when i get back i mean i had some muscle memories i had some memories of like techniques i went for my picks of comfort as i always do so like zed lucian airy in like the mid lane and lucian in the bot lane but I was still not aware of like the meta, what was going on, uh, the change in the jungle, the change um, of optimization. I wasn't really aware. And I wish I took some time before just to review some patches, what programmers are doing, uh, maybe watch some LCS to see what's up, what's happening. But I didn't do it and I kind of regret it. So I wanted to give you those tips, guys, so that you can make sure that you get on track more easily and that you start having fun playing League of Legends as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure you share this video with someone that is getting back or that should get back into League of Legends. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you for the next one. Peace. Bye.